she's got so much perseverance, she's so brave, um, and she really is inspiring. Little Brooklyn goes to school here at Gem Prep Academy in Meridian. She uses canes to walk, but that does not hold her back from doing just about anything, including being an incredible athlete and an inspiration to all she touches. As Maggie O'Meara shows us, she's someone you may want to keep your eye on in the future. She's tonight's Seven's Hero. I'm Brooklyn and I'm eight years old and I'm in third grade. When I'm in class, I don't really use my canes much. I put them in the corner. Brooklyn Gossard lost the use of her legs when she was just a toddler. When she was 15 months old, um, she just one evening, kind of her balance seemed kind of off. The next morning she woke up and she was completely paralyzed from here down. It took them about 48 hours and they diagnosed her with transverse myelitis. Basically a virus attacked her spinal cord. Doctors said she wouldn't walk again. As her mom, I wasn't ready to accept that. So I did a bunch of research and I found the top um, they're called a pediatric neuroimmunologist. Incredibly, Brooklyn slowly regained upper body function. And for the last several years, she's been in intense physical therapy. She has come so far and she has some big goals. I want to be a Paralympic athlete when I grow up. Two years ago, we were invited by Brooks Physical Therapist to the Boise Parks and Rec Adaptive Sports Camp. It was a game changer for her. Brooklyn fell in love with sports and the feeling they gave her. Confidence. That's when I started digging into CAF and what they're about. CAF, or the Challenged Athletes Foundation, offers incredible sports opportunities to people just like Brooklyn. Recently, we launched in Idaho specifically with the goal of making Idaho a destination for our adaptive athletes. So we offer camps and clinics for people to try out new things. There's just a spark in Brooklyn's eye. Uh, you can tell she's a competitor. You want to make sure that she has what she needs to be successful. She is now a proud CAF athlete. I mean, she's been able to try so many different things. They sent our family to San Diego and we were able to meet some of the top para-athletes in the world. In San Diego, CAF's Team Idaho surprised Brooklyn on stage with her own hand cycle. So we wanna make sure that she has what she needs to be successful. And there's something else extra special about Brooklyn. She's a twin. Sister Bella is her biggest fan. She's the strongest person I know. I play lots of sports that I can do, but she can do it cooler than me. Like she can use cooler equipment and she's way faster than me. Brooklyn has even competed in a local YMCA triathlon for kids. So for the run part, I do the racing wheelchair. And for the biking part, I do the hand cycle. And for the swimming part, I just swim. She's like really strong. And she inspires all of, uh, like, everyone she meets. The twins have big plans for the future. Me and my sister want to travel around doing triathlons. Thanks to local resources like Boise Parks and Rec, the YMCA, and CAF, Brooklyn is an amazing athlete. A lot of people with disabilities, they don't know what's out there. That you can do sports and that there's adaptive equipment for you. Brooklyn Gossard will tell you she is proof that you can do anything. And she is our sevens hero. And Brooklyn, I promise you, we're going to be covering you in the Paralympic Games in the very near future. I know it. The Idaho branch of the CAF is fully funded by the J.A. Catherine Albertson Family Foundation. They want people with physical limitations who are interested in trying adaptive sports to get in touch. They can't wait to show you what you can do. For more information, just go to the story on our website.